Hello and welcome to our video. This video outlines the work of 10 avionics students for the aerospace vehicle design roof design project at Cranfield University. We have used Simulink and MATLAB to develop a platform for integrating and testing the design of all the major avionics components found on board an aircraft. In this video, we demonstrate the results of the integration of the flight management system, the flight control system, the landing system, and the guidance display system. This allows us to simulate automatic flight guidance and trajectory tracking, automatic landing, and real-time flight parameter visualization. In this initial demonstration, the aircraft is currently following the trajectory defined by the flight management system. By disengaging the autopilot via the autopilot interface, the pilot can take manual control of the aircraft. The pilot can control the aircraft in the lateral and longitudinal axis by moving the side stick. A safety envelope is provided to prevent excessive bank angle. We can then re-engage the autopilot and the aircraft will automatically return to the trajectory defined by the flight management system. As you can see from the navigation display, the aircraft has returned to the desired trajectory. The system was implemented using three computers. The first is the flight control computer with a flight gear interconnection, MATLAB GUI autopilot and joystick input. The second is the flight management and landing system computer which provides guidance to the flight control system and for this demonstration displays the trajectory of the aircraft in real time. Lastly, the guidance and display unit Implemented in VAPS XT displays the flight data parameters it receives via MATLAB communication with the flight control computer. The three computers were connected using Simulink and MATLAB UDP communication blocks. The flight control computer is the core of the system and implements the Sixdorf model, stability augmentation systems, and autopilot outer loops. If we look inside the six degree of freedom model, we find the typical aerodynamics and equations of motion blocks. However, the process has been streamlined using MATLAB and AVL. Once the geometry of the aircraft has been defined and the flight parameters determined, we can generate the aerodynamic data. Using Mat MATLAB DOS command, we can write a script that can run AVL multiple times for different Mach numbers, altitudes, angle of attack, side slip, or CG positions, and output them to different files. We can then create another script that reads the files and imports all the aerodynamic derivatives directly into Simulink 6 dof model by placing them into a multi-dimensional lookup table. In this way, the aerodynamics can be easily imported into the 6 dof model for almost any aircraft in just a few hours by simply modifying the aircraft geometry in AVL. The flight management system and landing system are implemented in a separate computer. The flight management system is comprised of two blocks. The first one computes the closest point to the trajectory, and the second one sends heading, speed, altitude commands to the autopilot to follow the defined trajectory. During the final approach, the landing system takes over the flight management system and sends the lateral and vertical angular deviations to the flight control system to follow the landing trajectory. The flight control computer and the flight management system computer communicate via simulating UDP connection blocks and the BAPS XT software running the display system runs on a third computer and receives data from the flight management system computer and the flight control computer also via UDP connections implemented in MATLAB. In this final demonstration, the landing system automatically takes over the guidance function from the flight management system once the autopilot approach mode is selected. In this mode, the lateral beam guidance and glide slope tracking loops are coupled to the landing system. It is now possible to land the aircraft automatically even in very low visibility conditions. Thank you for watching our video.